randomly taking over now. buzzing through the sky today for some reason. I think it has to do with this fire that's a little further north, like in the Squamish area. You can kind of see it sometimes in the actual sky. I guess with all the COVID-19 pandemic stuff, wondering when it will end. Well, apparently a bunch of places are canceling all like Canada Day celebrations, turning virtual and stuff. Like this one says, in light of the current situation with COVID-19 pandemic and the government's priority of keeping Canadians safe, Canadian Heritage has decided to host Canada Day virtually. That's indeed what it says too on the official government sites. It says for Canada Day 2020, we're working with Canadian artists and artisans to put together a virtual program, reflecting our diversity and values and showcasing the immense talent our country has to offer. How long will this last, huh? This thing is not until like what, two and a half months away too. Although there was news where saying here, it might actually be laxed down. And this one says, BC preparing to ease some COVID-19 restrictions in May, but only if cases keep falling province preparing for second wave in the fall. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes again. With that said, as many of you know, a lot more people and organizations are trying to use things like drones during this situation because you have to avoid people and all that. And people wonder, are organizations like the FAA, for example, going to lax in the laws and stuff like that to allow people to use it more for things like emergency? I guess according to this, they're not. It says the FAA is enabling drone use for COVID-19 response efforts within our existing regulations and emergency procedures. Our small unmanned aircraft rule, part 107, and certificate of authorization process allow operators to transport goods and certain medical supplies, including test kits, most prescription drugs, and under certain circumstances. Although it does say they do it really fast, I wouldn't know personally, maybe someone in the US does. It says the FAA also issues special approvals, some in less than an hour, for flights that support emergency activities and appropriate government health or community initiatives. In my opinion, it should really depend on the situation. You shouldn't treat everything like a huge aircraft because sometimes even a minute could mean the difference between life and death, right? Just like when it comes to all those stories of saving people's lives and all that. That thought of things like drone delivery, there was actually an interesting contrasting story, I guess, here in Canada. This one says, pandemic not causing any birthday present delays for drone owning grandparents. It seems pandemics are no obstacles for grandparents with birthday presents to deliver. Loshi and Duffy turned seven years old on April 13th. Physical distancing and other public health orders meant the birthday boy could not celebrate with friends and family, including grandparents, Verna and Ken Poe, who normally babysit one day a week. It says, quote, we're kind of going through grandson withdrawals and with self-isolation. With that, I guess it decided, hey, we have a drone. Can we deliver this thing? And they were practicing with it and stuff like that. And eventually that's what they did. It says, we got it back together with what it could manage in terms of what the drone can carry and did a practice run here at the farm. They could hear Lachlan's excitement from dozens of meters away. For a 74 year old, it was pretty cool. I'm sure it was really cool for a seven year old. You can basically see the interview and stuff like that with them delivering it. Not being able to be with her grandson on his seventh birthday this week, Verna Pohl came up with a unique way to deliver his birthday gift. Got a bag together with what uh, it could manage and did a practice run here at the farm. This special delivery was kept under wraps from Lachlan. Uh, we could hear his excitement, uh, his, his excitement uh, when uh, we were flying the drone. Lachlan says watching his present fly down the driveway was super cool. They even say like in a quote, I can't wait till he gets the controls and can fly it himself. Basically wanting the kid to experience something like that. I mean, what a contracting story, and funny enough, this should technically be illegal, like here in Canada, to do something like this. I mean, that's my example where in cases like this, where it's perfectly safe and all that, that should be perfectly okay. If anything, again, hopefully during this pandemic and people using the tech in this way, where if someone tries to fear monger stuff like this, that's perfectly safe, then at least they'll have something to look back. It's more mainstream, like these types of stories. So imagine coming out and says, oh, nightmare. This thing, the way you're flying it right now, is going to crash into an airplane and kill people and so forth. Then you have the irregular average people saying, what are you talking about? Like in my opinion, there needs to be more stuff like this getting out there so that people don't basically fear mongrel like nuts. 
it's such a good example in so many ways where you have, for example, like an older generation using tech and all that, encouraging the younger generation to use this in the future. At the same time, you could use it in an innovative way where people use it in situations like this, I would say recreationally. Trying to turn something like that into a huge manned aircraft situation, making it so complex, in my opinion, it's ludicrous. I'm just imagining all the people that are gonna drone police this guy for doing this too, like the way he did it. Although to my understanding as well, he didn't actually fly that far, it was just from a couple of meters away from the driveway for example, just something for fun for the kid to be excited about. In my opinion, nothing wrong with that. Because reading this story just makes you think about that too. In my opinion, again, huge manned aircraft and stuff is different than little small drones and stuff like this. I mean, look at this story where apparently there was a plane that had to land in a highway in Quebec. You can see basically it was captured with like a dash cam and just landed right on the highway. And then all the news reports were saying the funny thing was a lot of the motorists, they weren't, I guess, freaked out over it. They basically just got out of the way as if it was like a car just like turning into the lane or something like that. Like, I guess it was an emergency landing, but still, again, completely different in terms of a plane and something like this, like a small drone.
All right. See you guys later.